I haven't been as confused by a movie like this in years. And I mean that in the best possible way. I hope you're ready for a gush fest. Let's talk about everything everywhere all at once. Written and directed by Dan Kwan and Daniel Scheinert, Everything Everywhere All at Once tells the story of an aging Chinese immigrant who is swept up in an insane adventure where she alone can save the world by exploring other universes connecting with the lives she could have led. The movie stars Michelle Yeoh, Stephanie Hsu, Ki Hai Kwan, James Hong, and Jamie Lee Curtis. I pose to you a question. Is it possible for you to feel pride in someone else's accomplishments? If you personally don't know them, like, at all? I believe you can. Because I feel proud of this movie. I feel proud of the cast, the crew. Everything they were able to accomplish here is, is mind-blowing. It, it really is. They took a script that could have been just a complete disaster. And they turned it into something beautiful. I don't know if you've seen the trailers. I don't know if you've seen any reviews on it other than what you're watching now. All I can tell you is that the movie is bonkers and absolutely just bonkers. Okay. And I've said that about movies in the past. This is the new bonkers standard. I've never seen a movie like this ever. First, let's talk about the acting. Jamie Lee Curtis looks like she is having so much fun in this role. And I can't even tell you a whole lot about the role because it changes. It's different. There are, there are so many twists and turns in this movie. It is, it's, it's great. And Jamie Lee Curtis is having a blast and it's awesome to see an actor of her caliber come to a role like this and just have fun with it. James Hong. Look, at 93 years old, this guy is still killing it. And he just got his star on the Hollywood Walk of Fame on May 11th. And I think that's awesome because the guy deserves it. I mean, is he, you know, is he someone that, that you know, everybody knows? Probably not. But you've seen him before and you've heard his voice. You know who he is. And he's awesome every time he comes out. So it's it's so great to, to see him get that recognition. But to be in a movie like this is, is great. And his performance in it is also really, really great. Stephanie Hsu, I honestly haven't seen her in anything. But I will tell you, after seeing her in this movie and in this role, I'm going to keep my eye on her for sure. Because she's definitely got some talent. And she holds her own against these... Let's let's call them superstars because they really are. Ki Hai Kwan. Um, I've loved this guy's performances ever since I was a kid, right? I mean, 1984, Indiana Jones and the Temple of Doom playing short round. I loved him. And I was probably one of the few people that was really, really disappointed when Last Crusade came out and he wasn't in it. Like, where's short round? What happened to him? I... Love Ki Hai Kwan, and of course, in the Goonies, playing Data. Uh, I he's he's great. He's always been great, and I've always liked him as a person. Um, interviews that I've seen outside, and of course, you know, he's taken a long break. He took a long break from acting, and he comes into this and plays a role that is so so many different layers, so many different ways to take the character. Um, he's. He's amazing and seriously made me tear up multiple times throughout the movie. And Michelle Yeoh, oh my God. Um, look, she's probably best known in the U.S. for probably crouching Tiger, Hidden Dragon, and she's great in that. But, you know, the first time I saw her was uh, sort of in the mid-90s, I guess, with Super Cop, and I've been a fan ever since. And... I don't understand why she's not a bigger star here in the U.S. I mean, she's, look, she's a superstar, you know, globally, but she just never really broke through in the U.S. And, but look, I'm, I'm so impressed with her work here. Again, another layered performance. She does so many different things. You know, she's dramatic. She's, she's comedic and the action is great. I mean, she's, she's amazing in this role and I'm, 
like I said, I'm just really, really proud. At times, there's there's uh, the way that the movie is shot. It definitely feels very low budget in a lot of ways, which it is. Twenty five million dollar budget for this movie. And some of the effects, you know, you can tell you can tell that there's some, you know, it's a it's, it's a lower budget thing. And even the costumes in some cases. And I really can't go really can't go further than than saying saying just the costumes. But anyway. It really works within the confines of the story. And I think this movie, above just about anything I can think of, it shows that these limits that people have, you know, and then, you know, oh, well, you need you need so much money to do something like this. Mm -mm. These are self-imposed limits because this movie pulls off some things that I just never, I, I never thought possible. I mean, this movie has huge ideas in it like really, really big ideas. And I can tell you that, honestly, I've never seen anything like it in a theater. I cried multiple times during the movie. Um, <laughs> tears of, I would say, pride, but also tears of joy and tears of just awe. I was awestruck by this movie. I mean, of course, like I said, Ki Hai Kwan coming back after such a long layoff and, and doing a role like this where it's... It's so layered. There's so many different aspects to his character. Characters, I guess. Michelle Yeoh as well. It's they they're just they're just so amazing. And I'll also say that I think I can't remember a time that I laughed harder in the theater watching a movie. I laughed so hard. I don't know. I, I can't say it's the funniest movie I've ever seen, but it's it's really, really funny. It's so good. Um, it actually made me a bit like afraid, you know, as somebody who's who's, you know, look, trying to make some movies, you know, and some some things in the future happening, possibly. But I look at a movie like this and I go, how could I ever measure up to something this good? My only criticism of the movie is that toward the end, I felt a little bit of a fatigue coming on like it felt like there was the movie was wrapping up and then it just kept going a little bit um i haven't seen any other reviews on this movie so i don't know if other people felt that as well but for me i, I definitely felt it but look this is as close to a perfect movie that i i, I don't know i can't think of many movies that do so much with so little but so well if that makes sense. So for me, this one's getting a three and three quarters out of four stars. Everything, everywhere, all at once. Just, I loved it. I loved it so much. Um, I'm really curious how many of you have gone out and seen this movie, what you thought of it. You know, did you think it was as good as, as I did? Or were you kind of like, nah, I mean, nah. I mean, I don't know. I don't know what other people are thinking. I can only go off of what I'm seeing. And from what I saw, yeah amazing. But let me know down below what you think, and we'll talk about it. So thank you all so much for watching, and we'll see you on the next one.